So I'm going to do two event knots, one for each tree. It's quick release, it's quick to put up, a lot quicker than putting up a tree to tree ridge line. Right, this will do a couple of trees, that's all I need for this one. Now don't worry, this isn't the kind of channel that rehacks the same old thing you've seen a thousand times. I've adapted it to become a hybrid, so it's dual line. Why have I chose a hybrid solution to a problem? First of all, you need to know the problem. First of all, I'm going to show you the traditional method. This is what everyone sees on YouTube. A hanker cord going from one tree to the other. You'll tie prussics on and maybe a couple of beaners to attach uh, to your tarp. So I'm going to show the traditional method and then my method. And I'll show you where I have the problems also. So I'll get one end like this of the hank and I come to the tree and come around it. So far so good. This bit is very easy, the event knot like that. Let go and I'm up. I'll show you the event uh, very quickly in a minute. But let's get to the other tree and I'll show you my problem. At this point on the second tree here I prefer the trucker's hitch which is making a loop reaching inside the loop, pulling another out. So now around the tree and back to this loop here. Through. This is far easier than the other way I've seen on YouTube. Pull the tension, get this cord tight and tie a hitch around there leaving this V section here. To undo the event knot, it's pretty simple. It's on the quick release, like that, and it comes off the tree. Now I can simplify that knot by taking my hands out of the way. First of all, I wrapped around my hand on my fingers. Let me just take my fingers out of the way and show you what it is. It's a loop. Again, take my fingers out the way. I've just created a loop, so really you could create a loop and go underneath this here. You see, I made the loop, brought it underneath this line. I did some weird kind of twisting over. Let's break it down with my fingers out the way. Again, I made a loop. Fingers out the way. A loop bring it underneath give it a twist towards you this little short tail here and I'm not going to put all of it through this loop I've made just a little bit to make another loop and tighten it all off and bring it to the tree you'll soon get used to doing it this way and that's how quick it is. Damn it, I've got a lot of cord here. A lot caught up in it as well. Frustrates me this part. So I'm going to wind a bit up so I'm not getting tangled. I've come around the tree. With all this loose end, you've seen people come back over the line, like that, pull it tight. I'm going to use a knot I know works. There. If you're trying to get away in a hurry, it's 
get this second knot off. It's a pain. It's not a speedy knot for stealth camping. That's all I'm saying. It will come undone. But for stealth camping, getting away in a hurry to avoid detection, it's a pain in the arse. Let's go to the event knot we did on the first tree. Let's see how easy it is to take down. Give that a pull. I've got my line back already. What if I could just do an event knot on both trees? And you're thinking, yes, but you'll have a sagging ridge line and I won't be able to tighten the top. There's where I had to invent a hybrid system and a vent knot on both trees. And yes, I will have a sagging top for a couple of seconds. There's where my quick invention comes in. Getting twigs caught up in it. Getting really frustrated now with this. Getting caught up. I'm in the mood for giving up. There, got my line back. I'm too impatient for that. Far too impatient. Now in my pack, I have a pre-made system where each of the sides go up on an event. So two separate lines, one for the left, one for the right, an event on tree one and a vank on tree two. There's the top, pre-connected. Under, reach over, pull through. actually not too bad just as it is let's come back down here and have a look what's going on I have a beaner onto my tarp onto a prussic I can pull this and it'll act like a tree to tree ridge line where I can adjust it a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right just as you would a tree to tree ridge line for people who don't know where the middle of two trees are. Now it's been lifted off the ground. The ridge line is taut. And notice how I haven't got a cord going from one tree to the other. And yet there's no sag in the centre here. And no cord running through it. I can get just as much tension doing it this method. Giving a separate left and a separate right. Each can go on on an event knot. This side of the tree, another event knot. Then pull and guide the top left or right it's as easy as that terribly dry throat here so i'm going to wrap it up in a minute um the best thing i could do at the second tree previously was the trucker's hitch and it works it works i can get tension on one side and it's quick to take down but this is even quicker to put up it's even quicker to take down. I still have left and right adjustability. So instead of using one strand for one tree stretched out to the other, I have two. I just have to allow enough line on each side of the top. If it was to go around, say, an oak tree, which is pretty big, and don't forget I need the span 
from the tree to the top and that span depends on how big your tree is and how long your tarp is to take this system down is simple I just pull on this little line here once that happens it drops down to the floor and I pack it away quickly Now again, you don't have to replicate this in any shape, form or manner. It's not compulsory. It's not even necessary. I just like it because it's quick. It's a good um, way to evade detection if you need to get out in a hurry. It has the same ability to be able to move that tarp left or right above your head. Like I was jokingly saying earlier, that kind of things for people who can't find the middle of two trees. Just tie in a line onto the end of each top. I can centre it over my hammock. So now it's dropped to the ground, I can pack it. Find the centre of your top. Dedicate a pocket in your pack for the sole purpose of carrying my top. <laughs> And I can move pretty quick. So the advantages for me there, as you can see, a couple of event knots on both trees. Then I have the ability to put it up very, very quickly and take it down very, very quickly. I can also adjust from left to right for people who can't find the middle of two trees. I'm joking, it's just a traditional way of doing it. I think it's kind of pointless, but this is a hybrid of two ideas. The um, event knot, which traditionally can only be done on one tree. Now it can be done on two trees. The benefits, a um, lot quicker to put up, a lot quicker to take down. Dedicated space in the pack just for the tarp. That's going in there. I can be away in seconds. 